Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're outside here today getting ready to do an oil change on my Power Smart. This is a 212 cc 26 inch cut power smart snowblower if you guys have been following you know we've done some reviews on it i've actually got another video in editing this thing has done really really well it's a little lightweight when the snow's packy it wants to ride up on it like when you go to do the big banks and stuff but honestly this is so easy to maneuver anyway we're here today because i'm going to change the oil um, i was just figuring it out this morning and i have started this machine over 70 times already this year just pull starting by hand um so we've we've done at least 70 snow removal jobs now what does that mean that means sidewalks and driveways that's what i've been doing so one stop is usually a sidewalk and a driveway driveway that can fit anywhere from one to three cars on average and it we've been working the crap out of this machine so as of right now it only has the oil that came with the machine in it and i decided you know what let's let's put something a little bit better in there now it calls for 16 ounces so that's going to be half of a one quart right if your one quart bottle has numbers you'll see four ounce eight ounce 12 16 so we're going to try to only put half a quart in there 16 ounces this machine calls for 5w30 and i am going to be switching over from what came with it to this uh, mobile one um, truck and SUV oil for extra protection for hard working engines because I feel like this is a pretty hard working engine right if we got somebody on here who tells me this is a bad idea let me know you know we'll make some changes but right now this is uh, advanced full synthetic oil and uh, that's what we're gonna run now I'm trying to get this done today because I spent 10 hours yesterday doing snow removal jobs with this machine and we're supposed to have another storm late tomorrow afternoon so I want to uh, swap this oil out because, you know, I just feel like it's it's probably, probably due. So I'm going to walk you guys through uh, changing the oil on this machine. Give me a like, give me a sub, leave me a comment, and uh, let's get started. All right, guys, so I haven't changed the oil on this before, but uh, we've got an oil pan. I've got a long filler neck funnel, some rags, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, and some oil. Now, the drain plug for the oil, if you're standing at the back of the machine, is right here on the right-hand side. And it's down kind of low my plan is to prop up this filter filter this funnel if i can get it in here kind of get it in there like that somehow and see if i can get this oil pan underneath it and uh we're gonna try to drain it from there i didn't really want to have to remove the tire but it looks like i might have to so we'll pull the pin we're gonna pop this tire off i'm gonna set you guys down and we're actually just gonna put the tire under the machine to hold the machine in Pull my funnel back out because it doesn't really fit. Let's move some stuff. I'm doing all this right on the back of the truck because honestly I don't really have a good spot to do any of this. Because my shop's for woodworking and everything else is all snowy, so tailgate's a good enough place is any in my opinion. Now I can get right to that, right? Get this pan nice and close. We could still probably stick this funnel under there, you know, once it starts draining to catch it if we need to. Spacer on there. Let's see here. Put that the other way. So if your wrench is this way, you're lifting up to loosen it. Get this close. I don't really know if this is going to spit out or what. So just pull that plug right out. And boom, we'll get that little, there we go. We'll get that on there just right. That looks like a hot mess. Barely coming out. Let's undo this here. The wind's even blowing it. Oh my gosh. That oil is fried. I'm not too worried about getting oil all over my truck, guys. Just want to figure out a better setup here, though. windy out here. I didn't compensate for the wind blowing today. Should have though. It's winter time, you know. Yeah, so this oil's had it. You can see it. It's done. Alright guys, so the oil's come down to a very, very slow drip. Pretty much drained right out. Um, it is a good idea to uh, fire up your machine. Let it run for maybe a couple minutes before you uh, go and hit the plug. 
pull the plug out. Um, I forgot to do that, so the oil is pretty thick. But if you warm the machine up, the oil will be thinner because it's hot. Be careful, obviously it'll be hot, but it'll drain that much easier for you. Then you get down to about nothing in there, you just got to put your plug back in and refill. This is way easier with the tire off, by the way. This is also like a dipstick for the oil. I had pulled that out just to help it breathe and drain. Just like I undid the cap up top that says oil. Helps with air, helps the air flow through, helping the oil drain easier as well. But when you tip it, like I did originally with this out, oil comes right out of there too. So just be prepared for that. Now I've got a good mess on my tailgate, which isn't a big deal because it'll just help prevent against rust. I will clean that up a little bit before we are 100% complete. Before I go too much further though, I'm gonna go ahead and put my tire back on. All right guys, so if your axle has the plastic spacer on it, like they're supposed to, um, you might have to use a, a finessing tool to uh, get your rim on the axle all the way. And then just work that back in. Make sure you put your snap, snap ring piece back in here, or your, what is it, your pin there, all together. And we will refill up here where it says oil okay make sure this lower caps on all the way our drain plugs in tight and take my gloves back off sorry i know some people get offended that i wear gloves once in a while but it's chilly out here you know my hands are cold i'm gonna try not to overfill this which should be fun so looking at this right this this bottle at least i got four ounces so then i know it goes to eight 12 so i know this line is 16 so it should be 16 above so we're gonna empty to this line roughly at least that's the plan and here uh you know how plans go sometimes they work and well sometimes they don't pull my my dip stick out See what kind of mess we can make. Pour some in. Hold my bottle up pretty level. Give it a check. Oh, we ain't even put we ain't even put four ounces in yet. And then do that and overfill. Total amateur hour, right? That's gonna smell good later when I'm snow blowing. So we just wasted some, so we'll compensate for that. About halfway there or so. It's always easier to add more than it is to uh, take it away. Take it away, you gotta pop that drain plug, try to pour it out. We got about three ounces left to go. So I'm just gonna keep pouring a little bit, checking. We're about there, but I know I had spillage, so. Give it a little dab. Try to hold this flat and level. See about where we are. Looks like we still got some room to go. All right, put a little bit more in than I needed according to the levels on the bottle, but like I said, we spilled quite a bit up there. Amateur hour over here. What are you gonna do? Make a mess, clean it up. <sighs> Try not to have a ton of spillage though, to be honest. 
because everything underneath is friction driven. It shouldn't get down in there, but if it works its way down in on the friction drive, which is actually pretty close if you're able to look through here, if you get oil on your friction drive down there, the wheel and stuff, it's not gonna work well. And then you're probably gonna have to tip the whole machine up, clean those wheels off, which is taking off this lower plate, clean them off really, really good if things aren't moving properly. So I've actually got some snow removal to do here at the house. And I will end up unloading the machine here in a minute, doing that snow removal, just to make sure that friction drive is going to work well. Like I said, tomorrow i got a storm coming, so I want to make sure this thing is running top notch. All right, guys, once you get the oil all in there, um, about to what the bottle says when you start getting close, a good idea is to let the machine sit, all right? Stop putting oil in. Let the machine sit for a couple minutes and come up here to where it says oil. Put that cap back in, twist it in all the way, all right? Let it sit for maybe five minutes, come back, pull this out, get a clean rag, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it out, see where your oil level is. Okay, right here, it's in the okay zone. I don't know if you guys can see, it's in the okay. So I know I'm good. You want to be like at that second hole in the dipstick, if you know, or whatever your machine is. So that's something else to keep an eye out for as well. If you guys are running the machine a lot like me, if you get down to this lower dot, that means you're burning oil and you need to add oil throughout the season. Second dot, you're good. Get above the H and up here, you got too much oil in the machine. Okay, too much oil in the machine, you're going to have to drain it out. It can be create too much compression, I believe, and you could blow seals. So you want to be careful of that. This all looks pretty good though, so I'm not gonna mess with nothing else. Hopefully this video helped you guys out though. Um, like I said, I've used this about 70 times and I can tell you right now, the oil I just drained was shot. So going forward for me in particular, I'm gonna probably change the oil in this after every 15 or 20 uses or every season if it's less than that. Now, a normal homeowner, you guys are probably should just change your oil every season because it's sitting so long without use and things so either change it I, I would say change it you know in the fall so you're ready for the winter you know then you use it all winter then it sits all summer and the oil just sits there and you could just change it again every fall you're ready for the winter and you're good to go so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video changing the oil on this 26 inch 212 cc power smart snowblower guys this thing has been great check out those videos kind of reviews and stuff going on again this company sent me this machine to do a review on it and i've been working the crap out of it like i said tomorrow another storm might do a quick little video about that one i got another one in editing but yeah give me a thumbs up hit subscribe check out some videos popping up guys i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time